Today on The Boot Guy, we're going to be taking a really good look at the Thoroughgood 804-4367 Emperor Toe. So what makes the 804-4367 so important? Well, black walnut oil tan leather, dual density sole, emperor toe, unlined, American made. I'll just stop this review right here. Walk away. No, but seriously, it's all those things that just make this a phenomenal boot. So we gotta start somewhere just to point out the really good details in this thing. Let's start with the sole. So it's thorough good, slip resistant, oil resistant, made in the USA dual density urethane sole. You're gonna find this sole on about five or six different models. And one thing that it is tremendous for is smooth surfaces, ladder rungs, and it doesn't track in mud. Just look at the way the sole pattern is laid out. You get traction on the sides, you get more traction on the toe, more traction on the heel, and they just carry that pattern through. As we move into the welting section, you can see it is a full Goodyear welt and Thoroughgood. As always, when it comes to the American heritage, the American-made stuff, it's beautiful, it's flawless, it's, the stitching is great, every part on it is great. But it almost looks like they dressed it up by using the different colors, by creating these different layers that kind of fall into the same color pattern. What they did is they made a really handsome, beautiful looking boot that feels great and looks great. It's a safety shoe. It's a composite safety shoe. So not only did they maintain this classic look and appeal, they threw in some really nice modern advances in safety shoe technology. And what that is, that's the Emperor toe. That is this amazing safety toe, the shape of this toe, the space inside this toe. And it's just not that. Inside the boot, if you were to stick your hand inside here, when you feel these edges right here, and this is what always bothers people, it's the pinky toe, it's the big toe. When you feel those edges, you don't feel the edges of the comp toe. It's there, but it's not digging in. It's kind of splayed out, and it's hard for me to show that. It's kind of splayed out just enough, and then they put padding along those edges and it's just not padding at the at the right angle at the sharp point it starts right about here and it carries over through so as your foot is rubbing and moving around inside there you create a nice little chamber for your foot to sit inside this boot and not to mention the clearance the up clearance the side clearance you don't find many composition safety toes that have this going on black walnut oil tan leather I can't say enough about this. This is a beautiful chunk of leather. This video is doing this leather no justice. The oil that's in here, the wax, the way it is, it's beautiful. It's not waterproof. There's no barriers, there's no nothing. I mean, look at that. That's just leather inside there. Your foot is going to breathe. You are going to be comfortable on really hot days. And if you're one of the guys who can get through a winter with just wool socks, you're gonna be comfortable all through the winter. Now they throw in this beautiful compression foam footbed. Now compression foam, just as it sounds, as you step down on it, it takes on the form of your foot. So it has a memory to it. So you're constantly sitting in something that's shaped to your foot. And if you notice, not much of an arch built into this thing, right? Look at the angle on that boot. Look at that arch that's built into there. That's comfort, that's support. With this big wide toe, that's support. Now below the insole, there's a nice pour on footbed and it's not square pour on. The sides are chamfered in. So it's not gonna cause any uncomfortableness as you're wearing this without the insole. And the reason I bring that up is because of the size scale that they make this boot in. Thoroughgood has done a phenomenal job of creating sizes that actually fit people who need work shoes, who have a hard time finding work shoes in certain sizes. D's, double E's, and four E's. That's right, they make this thing in a four E width. 
from size 8 to 14 in the double E and the 4E and the Ds, they start at seven and they go up to 14. Now about the size and a fit, well, we are talking about a specialty item here. We're not talking about no general off the shelf, cheap hundred dollar work boot here. We're talking about something that has a lot of love and care put into it and that really had the working guy in mind when they were building it and designing it. So for me to tell you how this thing fits and where to buy it is kind of difficult. What I can say is if you're in the market for something that has a extra wide composite toe and you've got questions, as always, you can email me your questions especially on this boot so that we can figure out where your problem is, what size is going to work best for you. So that's the Thoroughgood, 804-4367, yep, Emperor Toe. Hey, if you're currently wearing the Emperor Toe from Thoroughgood, please comment below. Let guys know your size and the issues you had prior to purchasing a pair of these and whether or not this has helped out in your daily work routine, having the wider toe, having the taller toe, having the nice space all the way around the foot. If that's helping you out, please comment below. If you want to know more about this boot, about the Emperor Toe, if you want to see some detailed photos or just some really tight shots so you can really understand the shape of this, swing by to bootguy.com. There I'll have a really nice write-up on this boot and I'll also have a couple links that'll make it a lot easier getting a pair of these on your feet. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below, it really helps out and if you should have any questions about purchasing a pair of work boots, whether it be a Thoroughgood, American Heritage, or just any other work boot, please shoot me over an email. Alright, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy, thanks a lot for watching.